Fighter jet pilot Gunnar Janssen prepares for a training mission at the military airport of Pyrn. His task today, prevent a small civilian aircraft from entering an airport's airspace without permission. We can take off within 15 minutes. The pilot is on standby in the office. When the alarm goes off, he puts on his gear while the plane is made ready. The Swiss Air Force carries out 300 policing operations of this kind every year. However, only during working hours and unarmed. From this year on, two fighter jets will be constantly armed. In this exercise, the civil aircraft flies further into Swiss airspace. The pilot ignores radio instructions to reveal his or her identity. Two fighter jets approach the plane. They try to identify the machine. The 24-hour surveillance service will cost the state 30 million francs. An additional 100 staff will be necessary. Project leader Peter Bruns says that in future, 20 people will be on duty every night. Besides aircraft and pilots, the round-the-clock operation also requires engineers, air traffic controllers and tactical commanders. The 24-hour service requires many people, more than you would think. Of course, we're trying to do this with as few as possible. It takes a lot more than just pilots. You're intercepted by uh, two Swiss fighter aircraft on your left. If you read, rock your wings. By tilting its wings, the FA-18 jet seeks to call attention to itself. The plane still doesn't react. In future, the Air Force expects it will carry out five nocturnal operations a month. Some will also be supersonic flights. Yes, there'll likely be more noise at night when we carry out an operation. But I'm confident that the public will accept this. As a last warning, the fighter jet fires signal rockets. The plane finally reacts and the pilot agrees to be escorted to the next airport. The Swiss Air Force is currently negotiating options to land fully armed fighter jets on major civil airports in Switzerland, as well as on military airports in neighboring countries, should the Swiss military airports be out of reach. The plans to get foreign airports involved has been criticized. We have to find a solution in our own country. For instance, we could reconsider plans to close the military airport in Sion and use it for this 24-hour service. And there's also concerns from left-wing politicians questioning the high costs of round-the-clock policing. In Parliament, we've been critical of the extra funding needed for the increase in security, which I believe is quite marginal. So I also wonder if we'd really be quick enough. 15 minutes is rather a long time in the case of a real emergency. Today's exercise comes to an end. The small plane is forced to land in Dubendorf. The two fighter jets return to Pyrn. In the past year, the Swiss airspace was breached around 40 times without the Air Force being able to intervene. This will not happen in future. We'll be confronted with situations during the day and night and in various weather conditions. For us, this is nothing new though. We've already been carrying out such operations, for instance, during the World Economic Forum meeting. We're a well-rehearsed team and know exactly what's coming. The service hours will be increased step by step up to 2020. By then, the Swiss Air Force will be ready to police the skies at any time, day or night.